Air Zoo volunteers and staff members are helping restore an aircraft that has ties to the Second World War pulled from the bottom of Lake Michigan. News 8's David Horak tells us more about this unique piece of history. The FM-2 Wildcat was considered to be one of the Navy's most successful fighters for its early role in the Pacific Theater of World War II. The Air Zoo happened to get their hands on one of them, but how it got here is a story in itself. It began December 18, 1944, when training pilot William Forbes's Wildcat's engine failed during takeoff from the USS Sable stationed in Lake Michigan. It went off the front edge of an aircraft carrier, basically got rolled over, and its tail got caught in a paddle wheel and sheared off. The pilot made it out okay, but the wreckage ended up sinking 200 feet below to the bottom of Lake Michigan. Then in 2012, 68 years later, it was discovered, brought back to the surface, and retrieved by crews on behalf of the National Naval Aviation Museum and its foundation. It's been the past 68 years deep six in Lake Michigan, but now a mud and muscle encrusted World War II fighter is getting new life. The plane was then given to the Air Zoo for restoration the next year. From the cockpit back was uh, all gone. The tail section survived, we repaired that. And, but everything in between those two areas was totally reconstructed over a period of about four years. But nine years and 1,500 volunteers into the project, a recent announcement gave it a whole new meaning, thanks to the plane's direct involvement with some of America's finest. This is the plane that Americans flew in some of the darkest, most difficult days of World War II, in some of the most challenging places, flying from Guadalcanal, flying from aircraft carriers, flying from Wake Island. The Wildcat was also flown by eight Medal of Honor recipients, the most of any single-engine fixed-wing plane in American history. Because of its symbolic importance, this Wildcat earned a space in the future National Medal of Honor Museum in Arlington, Texas, whose chief content officer tells us it was at the top of their list. We knew that this was the play and that would help us to tell the most number of Medal of Honor stories. All thanks to West Michigan preserving this piece of American history. Everybody's going to know that it was restored here in Kalamazoo at the Air Zoo by the entire Southwest Michigan community. To me, they couldn't have picked uh, a better place to put it. So once this Wildcat is completely restored, it'll be delivered by a semi-truck all the way down to the National Medal of Honor Museum in time for its opening in 2024. At the Air Zoo, David Horak, News 8. The agreement stemmed from an ongoing partnership between the Air Zoo, the National Medal of Honor Museum, and the National Naval Aviation Museum.